And now it's time, wait for it, to find out about the car we've all been dying to hear about. The McLaren MP4 12C. What a car. What a car. Do you mind? I'm what? just taking it in. Don't just... ruin it. Don't, no, just don't speak. Well, I've got it now. A brand new 205 mile an hour British supercar built in Surrey. Underneath here, there's a little sensor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And that's to save weight. By the people who run Jensen Button and Lewis Hamilton in Formula One. Let's have a look where the meat and veg is. It's in here somewhere to open. There we go. Yeah, and the point was that they couldn't find an engine small enough or light enough, which is why they made their own. It's, uh, it's tiny, isn't it? I mean, it's 3.8 V8 twin turbo, weighs 150 kilos. It's nothing, And isn't produces it? 600 oh, horsepower. Mate, isn't it? 600 horsepower! I oh, know. It's 168,500 pounds worth of exquisite engineering. I'll get in there, mate. Eh? Oh. Are you comfy? I'm not sure I am, actually. Oh, that's nice. Look how far I can adjust that. You happy now? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you know that grip was moulded on Lewis's grip? I like it. I like it. It's actually, not cluttered, is it? No buttons on the steering wheel at all. Look at this indicator store. Look, lovely. Hold on, hold on. I think that's Jensen's bottom. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> I do. So we've got Lewis's grip and Jensen's, Jensen's bottom. bottom. Yeah. The McLaren needs to be measured against the best. The one hundred and seventy-three thousand pounds Ferrari four five eight Italia. Serious cars require serious testing, so we'll both drive them. I'll test how much fun you can have. <laughs> While I'm here to see which can set the fastest possible lap time. We'll start with the benchmark Ferrari's ability to play. Sounds mega though, doesn't it? Eh? I've just lit up 570 horsepower. I've lit up the grin on my face. <laughs> This well, is epic. I haven't driven one before. I've only driven this car around two corners already. The confidence is unbelievable. It's the oh, best God. thing in the world, isn't this car? Oh, breathless. But now we're going for the big send onto the runway. Flick it. Flick it in. Catch it. Power. Power it. Hold it. Smile. <laughs> Breathless drive. The McLaren's got to do so much to beat this for sheer driving ecstasy. <sighs> Next, it's my turn in the 458 to see what it's like when you just want to go fast. It's just the most electric experience. <laughs> oh, that looks fun. This is a flat out 140 mile an hour corner, and we're sideways. And it's not, it's not an effort. Come on, boys, come on, boys. I love this car. I love it. It's my favourite ever car. At so moment. far, yeah, so far. And now, time to see how the McLaren compares by first testing how much fun it is. And a very different feel to it immediately. Right, come on, here he comes. First time round in the McLaren. I can't wait. Come on. Well, actually, no, let's step back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Turning in with a big oversteer out, flipping it. Now we're trying to pass like it. And now we're. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't look comfy in it. <laughs> I'm not having so much fun. Well, well. Well, edgy. Yeah, you look a bit twitchy. It's nothing like as consistent. Oh, I'm going to have to learn to drive this more than I did the Ferrari that was instantly putty in my hands. Come on, Tiff. You know what the kids want? You yeah. want a big Tiff drift. Give me a chance. The trouble was, I was trying to make the McLaren do exactly what it's programmed not to do. Flick it. Go, Dr. Go. Now, I've said it. Oh, we've got it. 
we're off. Tiffo, 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 Tip! What's going on, man? What's going on? Even with the traction control turned off, the car reduced the torque just when I needed it to hold the drift. Then, as the rear tyres began to grip and I was starting to steer out of the slide, the car tried to save itself with brake steer, all of which combined to create the massive overcorrection that turned us into a high-speed lawnmower. You're not happy with it, are you? No. Isn't that interesting? It doesn't interesting? want to be power slid, basically. It's not set up. The final test was my fast lap, where the McLaren was a tenth of a second slower than that Ferrari. But how did it feel? Did he like it? Yeah. Did he like it? Did he like it? And... I don't like it. <laughs> I'm the same as Tiff. I've got less confidence in this. I don't... I'm not feeling the car as much. I'll tell you why I don't like it. It's his ear. There's a disconnection between me and it. I don't know when the last time I spun a car was. It's quite some time ago. I'm not in tune with the car. You know, to get the best out of it, you've probably got to drive it the way McLaren want you to and the way it's been programmed. And now I'm not programmed that way. It stops quicker and better than the Ferrari. But it's very, very nervous on the brakes. It squirms around. Downshift. No, it won't downshift when I want to. But the big thing is, it's nowhere near as much fun, engaging to drive, McLaren. exciting sorry, McLaren. Sorry, sorry. as a Ferrari. I mean, that's just honesty. Generally, genuinely disappointed. That was a good day, wasn't it? It was. What a day. We turned up and fell in love with this black stealth McLaren with its luxurious, refined interior. Absolutely. And, you know, in terms of a piece of engineering, it is a work of art. The detail, the finish, the fit is second to none. But there's a but, and it's a very, very big but. The engine isn't as good. Agreed. The gearbox isn't as good. Agreed. The handling isn't as good. Very much agreed. You see, on paper, this car is better than the Ferrari. But there's one thing which you don't get on paper, and that's how it makes you feel. The tingle, the special feeling you get inside when you're driving it. And that knocks spots off that. There can only be one winner. And it's a clear winner. The, the Ferrari. Ferrari.